Hey everybody, welcome to the video. I hope you are well today. Today I wanted to say that some food can make us feel spaced out and weird in the head or just it, it either acts like a drug or simply also interferes with our system, our blood, it goes through our brain. Do you ever have a food, it's like really whatever the case may be or else you feel really tired afterwards and drained and you lack inspiration and energy to motivation to think, to be inspired, to have creative ideas, to follow your creative projects, your business, your goals, your plans, to be motivated, to be to exercise, to do your to manifest your dreams. So even now where I'm at at this stage and we're all different because some people eat even like are basically like breatharians, which is just such a fancy word. Like for me the whole idea is just all it is is a potential. Like humans have amazing potential. We have Mercados, we can in, we interdimensional beings who interdimensionally travel, multidimensional beings, you know, and that's no big deal. It's just the way it is. But because we don't do it much consciously, regularly, consciously, we think it's like oh, it's magic. But in the same way, we think oh, if you, the Bertarian is oh my god, that's not true. The truth is, in my opinion, well, first of all. Lo loads of people, thousands upon thousands of people can basically live virtually with almost no food or no food and there's people who live on liquid diets as well which is a level below so to speak regarding the density of your intake and the amount of molecules you intake in your, into your si digestive system or you know your mouth and stuff um, but I feel that the digestive system is like it's a like it's a system that's available for the spiritual experience of if we want to, you know, it's part of the game of life, let's call it that way. Third, dimension, third dimensional, like non-physical beings don't eat food, you know, they live on energy or they're just self, they're just alive and there's nothing that's going to be killing them. <laughs> you know, we're infinite, immortal beings. Um, so like we don't need to be so fearful thinking like we're fading and dying and we need food oh my god we need food desperate and i'm not saying we don't need food i'm just saying potentially when we get to a level like of cleanliness and efficiency and maybe spiritual maturity to a degree but mostly just the physical instrument even we can have our system so clean and fine-tuned that we are living more able to live off other energies such as the sun and the air, like don't forget that they are nourishing and so many elements are in the air and our body can make things that we need. We're very, we're much more self-sustainable than we think. Even urine or orin, aura, or, orin or orin, like that's a magical free self-sustainable liquid that has all the genetical and cellular and energetical information of all of our body and organs and glands and systems. It's extreme. It's the most healing thing I've ever come across. I, I don't know. I think it's very magical, to be honest. Um, but in my life, I take Orin, I take herbs, superfoods, and food. And I know raw food suits me better. Or even what's called ter termed in the mucusless diet healing system as mucusless or mucus lean, which means food that isn't too destructive or congestive or, or heavy or nasty or toxic. And as a result, it doesn't make our body respond by creating a whole lot of mucus to protect our body and to transport the waste that we're intaking into our body. So, so it's all about levels and degrees of an intensity of how good or bad or suitable or not suitable the body is. It is to the body. The food is to the body. So, um, so the digestive system is almost like a backup system or at least a secondary system, you know, an optional system that we can use, but in the same way it's optional that we can use it, we also have eventually the potential to optionally stop using it the way we used to use it, growing up on Earth, and live off more subtle, less dense energies, um, less dense energies such as like nature, love, um, other energetic vibrations, air, water, um, Uh, yeah, and the sun, sunlight, just various different energy. So, we ha uh, uh, we need to be safe. I'm not telling anyone to stop eating, obviously. I, I shouldn't even need to be saying that. I shouldn't need to say that. Maybe I don't need to. But, um, yeah, 
for me, like eating some oil in, in a sun-dried tomato pesto these days gets to my head, even when I have it with celery and a whole lot of like baby spinach and tomatoes. It's just, it's too, too thick and dense and greasy, to be honest. Oil doesn't really suit me the best, um, especially maybe if it's in a sun-dried tomato pesto, whatever's in it. Maybe it's part of the garlic, I don't know. But I've never had problems with garlic in the past, but I find the more I clean my body, the more sensitive I become to food. The more my body isn't overburdened, the more I'm sensitive to, to food. Yeah. Which is a good thing because overall I feel higher vibrational, happier and better in life and better physical performance too. So it's a bit like a drug addict. Do you want to feel strung out, woozy, stimulated and then tired and enervated, which is like, you know, drained out. Like in a dream world because earth can be heavy and challenging. Or do you want to be light, sensitive, and high, and higher functional? But it just means you kind of have to get off the drugs and become more sensitive. Like a cocaine addict, my a cocaine person or heroin addict could feel a huge effect by taking a little bit the first time, but then after a while you don't really feel it. You know, one person one time. So then you need more drug. So you become desensitized. Like one person, I remember I read, a I listened to a story on television a few years ago. A man was being poisoned by his wife, um, arsenic, and he was sick for a long time. Basically speaking, she just wasn't giving him enough of the lethal dose, and he eventually went to hospital very sick, but he still didn't, <laughs> he still, <laughs> she was just bringing, she even then convinced the doctors to bring in food for him, and she was still poisoning him, and eventually they realized and tested him and found even massive levels of arsenic in his system, enough to kill a horse, but because he'd gradually done it, and that's what we do with food, we don't feel it as much, but if you imagine giving him a, at the beginning like a horse's amount of that would kill a horse, like a huge, massive, strong animal of arsenic, he he'd be killed many times over. But the thing is, the body's adaptable, and that's why we've adapted to food, and we we can also unadapt and readapt to getting off like drug-like substances and get onto the more raw fruits and green leafy vegetables, which I feel are the cleanest of the dense food and then even onto liquids and then re, re back onto more subtle energy self-sustainability including orin which I think is a huge part too but uh, I'm not saying anyone should do this or we need to it's not pivotal, it's not important, we don't need to do this in our lives but I'm just saying it's there as an option out there of what's possible and what exists in the universe um, so I'm just sort of sharing my experiences and my thoughts about this um, this is what I've learned and come to feel I know or, re or realize um, having been around for a while investigating this and being in the scene for a long time so it's all very interesting and all the masters like the oh, not, not I don't want to call anybody a master but all of the highly elevated beings they either eat little food or they don't eat heavily most they're nearly all vegetarians um, mostly no judgment on anybody because that meat's like extremely dense obviously just materialistically speaking and um, ve and they're often like vegan and raw foodists or like juice vegetarians or and even people who are basically like breatharians as well so it's not a hundred percent necessary but it's there for your experimentation if you're interested um, so the body is a vehicle and the more we clean it and make it efficient we make, we open up our energy bodies, our chakras and our pineal gland and our I guess our multidimensional capabilities even more and our energy sensitivity it's like there's a lot of potential the human body truly is an amazing instrument and our physical body, mind, spirit, they're all connected they're all one, they're not even really connected they're just basically just like one extension of each other so I guess you could say they are connected but it's not like they're separate so careful of what you do to your system, it's important. We're like a machine and if you put dirt, waste, like slime, mucus, glue, stickiness, excessive grease and fat and oiliness and you know toxic pollutant chemically food and processed food and I don't think meat or fish is the best for us at all either. But I'm not judging anybody, I'm just saying for the help. Um, but do, do what you want to do and do what you want to do so I'll leave you with that and if you like, I hope you like this video, I um, hope you had a nice time for 10 minutes, I send you love and appreciation and gratitude and I'd be even more feeling loved and loving, grateful and gratitude and appreciated if you were to like this video, if you've liked it, share, favourite, 
share with friends or family, social media, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. Um, and leave us any of your comments. And thank you for supporting and sharing me. <laughs> what I mean, supporting me and my family, my loved ones, by sharing and supporting my work. So I really appreciate it. Thanks very much and have a lovely day. Take care. God bless.